If you have little ones at home, you're pretty much an expert when it comes to toys. And there's a good chance at least some of those toys were made right here in Ohio. In this News 5 original, Meg Shaw goes behind the scenes at Little Tykes. One more installment of her oh-so-good series, Buckeye Bill. This year, the company is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Five decades of pumping out toys in Hudson. I went inside the headquarters and talked to some of the employees, learning the ins and outs of the toy world. Little Tyke's toys aren't overly complicated. They're built using bright colors, large pieces, and some really durable plastic. Mom's always called it magic plastic. The toy maker is iconic, helping to give millions of kids countless hours of playtime. A company proud to call Ohio home. October 1969, that was the beginning of the company and we've always been here in Northeast Ohio. Some of the best known toys across the U.S. have come from Hudson. The Cozy Coop, Slide and Turtle Sandbox, just to name a few. They're all manufactured using rotational and blow molding, unique processes in the toy world. This uh, was called a sport racer. During my visit through the Little Tykes campus, I was lucky enough to meet Lori Franchino. I started in 1987 on the 800 line. I was an 800 operator uh, for two and a half years. Talk about an employee who truly loves what they do. She walked me around the company's new toy museum, arranged and assembled by her. This was the very first ride on with yarn hair, which we would never be able to do today. For the last 33 years, Lori has helped shape Little Tykes, giving toy designers feedback, attending trade shows, and even saving them money with product testing. When I started, there was a child care center on premises because most of our associates here had young children. Um, we use those children as toy testers. My daughter came at age three and she had her work here. A few short months after our interview, Lori retired. What do you think you're going to take away the most from, from your time here? That I hope in my small way I made a difference in the life of a child. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I hope. That's what I hope. She says what she'll miss most about Little Tykes is the people. Co-workers like Tom Playhouse. Fish, it's, who started just a week after old, her but, back in um, 1987. I've been here since the uh, very first president, so I've, I've worked for every president that's ever been here. That's a claim to fame there. So He's now the senior designer of new product development and has designed about 150 toys in his three decades with the company. He believes being a dad of four helped his career in ways he never imagined. As you get older and you have kids and you see how they play and what they like and what they don't like, you start to just, you become a better designer. And while Lori I is do. now a part of Little Tyke's history, so Fish and the other some 500 employees are propelling the toy maker into the future. The company's vice president, Roseanne Kubitsky, tells me they're now navigating their way through the e-commerce world through online sales. Kind of rethinking our whole marketing process. Still feeling the impact of the closure of Toys R Us. It hasn't been easy, but it's paying off and uh, it's working. We're, we're winning back um, that business that we lost when Toys R Us went away. The bottom line, Kubitsky says. We're not going anywhere. We're going to continue with um, developing product for parents and kids to play with together. And some really exciting news. The founder of Little Tykes, Thomas Murdaugh, has been nominated for the Toy Industry Hall of Fame. He's received the most nominations of this year's candidates. We should find out later this month if he will be inducted. For more information and background about the company, just head to the News 5 app. For News 5, I'm Meg Shaw.